Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'awdhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rabbish rahli sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahluluktatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of his knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you brothers and sisters. Nice to see you. Uh, our drill, quickly brothers and sisters. Ready? Huwa, huma, hum. Hiya, huma, hunna. Anta, antuma, antum. Anti, antuma, antunna. Ana, nahnu. Huwa, huma, hum. Hiya huma hunna, anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna, ana nahnu. Hua huma hum, hiya huma hunna, anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna, ana nahnu. Masha'Allah. Uh, brothers and sisters, this is the sequence we will follow when we conjugate the verbs. And it will make it easy on us, inshallah. Now, let's start the verb darasa in the maadi. Huh? Darasa is bab nasara. So how will you put it in mudariya? Darasa yad rusu. That nasara gives us the clue. Okay? Darasa yad rusu. Okay? So we start with maadi. Darasa, darasa, darasu, darasat, darasata, darasna. Darasta, darastuma, darastum, darasti, darastuma, darastunna, darastu, darasna. Masha'Allah. Huwa, hiya, ana, anta, anti, nahnu, antum, they, they, now I change it from home into I say they, darasu, they feminine, darasna, okay, hum, darasu, hunna, darasna, we, darasna, you, you feminine, darasti, I, mashallah. So we get an idea. This is the way you'll become very strong, inshallah. Now let us do. Mudarya. Yadrusu. Ready? Yadrusu. Yadrusani. Yadrusuna. Hiya. Tadrusu. Tadrusani. Hunna. Yadrusna. Hunna. Yadrusna. Anta. Tadrusu. Tadrusani. Tadrusuna. Anti. Tadrusina. Tadrusani. Antunna. Tadrusna. Ana adrusu. Nahnu nadrusu. One more time. Yadrusu, yadrusani, yadrusuna, hiya, tadrusu, tadrusani, hunna, yadrusna. Anta tadrusu, tadrusani, tadrusuna, anti, tadrusina, tadrusani, antunna. Tadrusna, ana adrusu, nahnu nadrusu. Inshallah, you will get strong. Brothers and sisters, now we do uh, another nice verb. Sakana, because they are all coming in lesson number 10, I think. Sakana, he lived. Uh, sakana means he lived, okay? So brothers and sisters, we start with sakana. Sakana, Sakanu, Sakanat, Sakanata, Sakanna. Huh? Sakanna, because there are two noon. Sakanna, Sakanta, Sakantuma, Sakantum, Sakanti, Sakantuma, Sakantunna, Sakantu, Sakanna. He lived. Sakana. She lived. Sakana. They lived. Sakana. Their feminine lived. 
సెకండ్ ఐ లివ్డ్ వై లివ్డ్ యు లివ్డ్ యు ఫెమినిన్ లివ్డ్ సెకండ్ థి ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యు మెస్క్యులిన్ లివ్డ్ సెకండ్ తుమ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యు ఫెమినిన్ లివ్డ్ సెకండ్ తుమ్ హూవ హియా హుమ్ హున్న అనా నహ్ను అంత అంతి అంతుమ్మ అంతున్న మాషాళ్ళ మాషా నా వి గో టు ముదార్య సకన ఇస్ ఆల్సో బాబు నసర సో వాట్ విల్ యూ చే సకన ఎస్ కూను బస్ ద ఇషారా ఆఫ్ ద సైన్ ఆఫ్ బాబు నసర టెల్స్ ఎస్ how the ain kalima is in the mudariya whether it has dhamma or fata or kasra sakana bab nasara nasara yansuru sakana yaskunu ready okay yaskunu yaskunani yaskununa hiya taskunu taskunani hunna yaskunna hunna yaskunna anta taskunu taskunani taskununa anti taskunina anti taskunina and then taskunani antunna taskunna ana askunu nahnu naskunu mashallah one more time brother sakana yaskunu yaskunu yaskunani yaskununa hiya taskunu taskunani hunna yaskunna anta taskunu taskunani taskununa anti taskunina taskunani antunna taskunna ana askunu nahnu naskunu one more new verb brothers and sisters qara'a now qara'a is ba fataha fataha yaftahu ha fataha yaftahu okay you will always remember okay inshallah fatuhu dam min nasara yansuru you will always say to me nasara yansuru fatuhu kasarin darab yadribu fataha tani fataha tani fataha yaftahu you will always remember this brother inshallah so qara'a is bab fataha so qara'a means qara'a yak ra'u yak ra'u fataha yaf tahu qara'a yak ra'u okay start with madi qara'a qara'a qara'u qara'at qara'ata qara'na qara'ata qara'tuma qara'tum qara'ti karatuma karatunna karatu karana inshallah you are comfortable now all of you are comfortable with madi ha huh? okay brothers and sisters who are hiya ana anta anti hum karau hum karau hunna karana antum nahnu mashallah antunna karatunna mashallah mashallah now we go to mudariya yak ra'u ready yak ra'u yak ra'ani yak ra'una hiya tak ra'u tak ra'ani hunna yak ra'ana hunna yak ra'ana yak ra'ana okay then anta tak ra'u takra ani takra un anti takra ina anti takra ina takra ani then antunna takra ana ana akrahu nahnu nakru no if i say to you sisavza maza takra ina what is the translation maza takra ina present tense what are you reading ma za takrau ya akhi 
What are you reading? I have to say to a sister, Maza Takra Ina. Huh? Maza Takra Ina. Okay? So what will you say in reply? Akrahu Adarsa. Huh? Or Akrahu Quran. Or Akrahu uh, Sahifa, newspaper. Huh? Majalla. Now, are you with me? So Karaha Yakrahu is a transitive verb. It should have Mafulun bihi. Huh? So you will always be watching for now transitive and intransitive verbs. And your mind will tell you it's easy, brother. Inshallah. Now we come to our lesson, page number 52, brothers and sisters. And I stopped last time at Zhu. Are you with me? Now, as you know, Zhu will always come as a mudaf. Do you remember this? Brothers and sisters, Zu will always come as a Muda. Always, always will be Muda. Now, what is the special thing that we know about Muda? There are two special things that we know about Muda. Can anybody tell me? MashaAllah. Excellent, Sister Sukhaina. Muda cannot have Allah. And mudaf cannot have tanween. So, brother and sister, zu will always be zu. It cannot have al and it cannot have tanween. Are you with me? No, mudaf ilayhi can be with al or if it is not with al, then it will be with tanween. Mudaf ilayhi either will have tanween or it will have al. One of the two. But mudaf cannot. We know this rule, huh, brother and sister. So look at the sentences. Ain al kitabu zul gelafil ahmari. So what is this zu doing here? Because we do not analyze, brothers and sisters. So we are not going in detail, but just in order to understand zu, I am telling you that aina. Are you with me? Huh? Just for your information, we are not going in detail, brother. Aina is a zarf. Are you with me? What is aina? It's a zarf. Where? Huh? Where? Okay, it's a zarf. So this aina is your shibu jumla khabar. Are you with me? So where is, where is your muftada now? Al kitabu. Huh? Okay, fine. Now if al kitabu is muftada, al al kitabu. So now Zu has come. Now what is Zu here? Yeah. No. Naat. Huh, brother? Naat. No, Naat always matches Manhut. Are you with me? Huh? But it does not match. It does not have Al. Mudaf cannot have Al. So where is the Al coming? In Mudaf Ilehi. Huh? When the Al comes in Mudaf Ilehi, Zu became definite. Uh, are you with me? Yeah. See, Arabic is mathematics. Uh, like algebra. Uh, zu cannot have al, but zu should be definite because it is a naat for a definite al kitab. Are you with me? Yeah. Al kitab is ma- manut. Sahi. If you say zu is naat, where is manut? Al kitab. Remember, naat manut. Uh, Al-Kitabu, in English, we will say noun qualified. Huh? So, brother and sister, where is the adjective? Zu. But it does not match. But then, this, the mudaf ilayhi does the job of matching. Huh? If the mudaf ilayhi is definite, then the zu became definite, and now it is a proper nath for Al-Kitabu. Al-Kitabu. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Uh, this is for understanding, uh, inshallah. It's easy. No, zu is naat wa huwa mudaf, al gilafi, mudaf ilayhi, and then al ahmari is a naat for al gilaf. See, al gilafi, al ahmari. Got the idea? Here they are both matching each other. But zu, because it is mudaf, it cannot have al. Next one, brother. Liman Zaka. Now, Liman Zaka 
Zaka is Zalika. Zalika al baytu zubul babil akhdari. Brother, again, for your, for your ease, I tell you, lemon is jar majru, shibu jumla khabar. Where is our muptada? Zalika. Huh? What is our muptada? Zalika. And what is baytu? Badal, mashallah. So what is Zu doing here? Not for what? Al-Baytu. Huh? So again, Zu, Al-Baytu is definite. Zu, does the mudaf ilahi is definite? Yes, yes so it, is, it matches. Huh? Zu al-Babil akhdari. Babil akhdari, they are not manut. Are you with me, brothers? How will you translate the first uh, sentence? Ayn al-Kitabu Zu al where is the book with red with red cover? Exactly. And and, and uh, what will you say? That house uh, with uh, green door belongs to. Are you with me? To whom this house with green door belong to? Okay. Now we come to Manzalikal Fatah. Zun Nazarati. Nazarati, brother? That's your spectacles. Huh? Glasses. Huh? Okay? So, man zalika. Man is again, in this case, your khabar. Huh? And zalika is your muptada. But you know, we will be doing all this thing in book three, inshallah. Huh? Fine. In detail analysis. Okay. Okay, brother? If muptada is zalika, what is al fatah? Badal. Huh? And then Zu came as a not for Fatah. Wa huwa mudaf and nazarati mudafili. Man zalik al Fatah. Zun nazarati. How will you translate? Who is that young fellow with glasses? Huh? Who is that young fellow with glasses? Huh? Fine. Now you should come. To the f- fourth one, and you must understand very clearly, huh, brothers and sisters. See, I didn't do this last time because I wanted to explain you properly, so that you have a good idea, inshallah. Zalika rajulu zulhiyati tawilati tabibun mashhurun min Pakistan. Okay, this is a sentence, no question mark, we will analyze. Zalika, Muptada. Ar-Rajulu, Badal. Zu, not for Rajulu. Huh? See, and Lihyati, see, Al-Lihyati, Zul-Lihyati. So it is definite because the Rajulu is definite. Do you see them? Can you match them? And then Tawilati is not for Lihati. Brother, put a line there. Sisters, put a line there. Why? That is a Muftada part. Where is the Khabar? Tabibun is Khabar. Mashuhurun. Mashuhurun is your Naat. And Min Pakistan, Jahar Majur. Fine. Brother and sisters, you will always keep that in mind. Huh? Muftada. And come up, if you can, put a line for your uh, deeper understanding, inshallah. Now, number one. Huh? Number one. How are we going to do this? Man zalikal waladu. Now, here, all are masculine. So, what will come? Zu. All of them are masculine. Man zalikal waladu. Zul Kamisil Ahmari. Zul. Huh? How will you translate, brother? Who is that boy with a red shirt? Huh? Fine, brother. Huh? Fine. Zalik al Fatah. Zul Sha'ri. Tawili. Talibun min Iran. How will you now translate, brother? Yeah. With long hair, yeah, is a student from Iran. So where is our khabar? 
Talibun. So, Talibun is Khabar. Zalika Mubtada, Al Fata Badal, and Zu Naat. And Sha'ari, Mudaf Ilehi, Zu Naat, Wahua Mudaf, and then Mudaf Ilehi, and then Tawil is a Naat for Sha'ar. Then put a line, huh? If you put a line there, then you separated it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And then Talibun is your khabar. Min Iran, Char Majru. Liman Hazat Daftaru. Liman Hazat Daftaru. Remember, it is Daftaru. And what will you say? Zul Gilafil Jamili. Okay? You got the idea, huh? Inshallah. Now we come to here. Zalika Rajulu, number four. Zalika Rajulu, Zunna Zarati, Zunna Zarati. Are you with me, brother and sister? Zunna Zarati. Put a line there. So what is Zalika? Motita. And what is a Rajulu? Badr. And Zu will be? Naat. Wa huwa mudaf and nazarati mudafili. And then we put a line. Huh? Because that is the end of muftada. Okay. Mudiruna. What is mudiruna? Two words. Mudaf, mudaf. Khabar, wa huwa mudaf and mudafili. Mudiru is your khabar, wa huwa mudaf and then na mudafili. Very good. <coughs> Man zalika rajalu zul lihyati kathirati. How will you translate that? Who is that man with short beard? Huh? Okay. And what is the answer? Huwa muazinu masji dina. So, huwa is our mubtada. Where is our khabar? Mu'azzinu. Huh? How many words are there? Total. Mu'azzinu, masjidi, and na. Mu'azzinu, khabar, wa huwa mudaf. And then, masjidi, mudaf, ilehi, wa huwa mudaf. And finally, na, mudaf, ilehi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Huh? Inshallah. So, that is done, brothers and sisters. Now we come to the monas. Form of zu. And what is the monas form? Zatu. Huh? Zatu. Again, we are still dealing with zu is a marfu form. Are you with me? Then there is a mansub form. And then there is a majroor form. But that, they will come later on, inshallah. When they come, inshallah, you will understand it without any difficulty. So, zu is masculine. What is feminine? Zatu. Huh? Okay. Ainal majallatu. Zatu suvari. Mulawwanati. Okay. But the suvari, write down singular is suratun. What will you write down? Suratun. Huh? Write down suratun. Mulawwanati. This is a colored. Huh? In book three, if this word came in book three, Mulawanat, we'll start analyzing. And we'll go to its root to figure out how this word came into existence. Uh, not now. We won't do it now. You are going to learn all this in book three, inshallah. Huh? So, Aina Majallatu Zatu. Suvaril Mulawanati. How will you translate, brother and sister? There is a magazine with colored pictures. Huh? Plural pictures. <coughs> Where is the magazine with color? Colored pictures. MashaAllah. Hadhi darrajatu zatul ajalil salasi. Okay, brother and sister, put a line after that. Libni asariri. Now this is a very nice sentence to analyze. The more complex the sentence becomes, the more 
enjoyable it is to analyze it. It's fun. Okay? Brother and sister, Hadihi Muptana Adarajatu Badal Zatu Nat Wahua Buddha and Ajali Buddha Filihi Asalasi Nat. How will you translate this up to here? This biker, bicycle with Ajali is wheels. That is the end of your Muptada part. What is the Khabar part? Huh? How many words are there? Libni. Libni. Three. Li Afjar, Ibni, Isam Majroor, Wahua Mudaf, and Ya Mutakalam. But then if you said two, then you miss the book. Are you with me? Our mind should be sharp. Inshallah. Three. Okay, but then what is this? A sagir. Not for what? Ibni. Ibni, mashallah. So should it be sagiru or sagira or sagiri? Sagiri, mashallah. Mashallah. But the summit, that is excellent. Because it is not for libni, which is? Azul Majru, mashallah, and Nath follows Manu. Very good, excellent. Tilkal imaratu zatun nawafi zil kabirati. Put a line there, brother. After kabirati, put a line there. Huh? So, what is tilka? And al imaratu badal. Zatu nat. Wahua mudaf. And nawafizi mudafilehi. Al kabirati nat. Brother, nawafiz, nawafizu is a plural. And what is this kabirati doing here? Kullu jama monas. It is a nat comes in singular. Huh? Feminine. Because kullu jama monas. Masrifun. Bank. Masrifun means bank. Bank. Tilkal masajidu. Tilkal masajidu. Zatu mana iri. Aliyati. Put a line there, brother. Can you feel that there is a Muptada here? How will you translate? Those. Uh, it is those because they're plural. Uh, those masajid with, uh, with high minaret. Uh, uh, that is it. Tilka muptada el masajidu badal zatu zatu mudaf. It is a naat wa huwa mudaf and manair mudaf ilahi. And aliyati, naat. And then what is jamilatun? Khabar, mashallah. And what is jiddan? Mafulun mutlak. We will learn later on, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, you understood, brothers and sisters? Mashallah. That is excellent, brother. Now we come to read the examples and then make your sentences. According to that example, you know, using the words between the brackets. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, if you remember, we did in lesson number one, whenever there is a a and am comes, there are two things we are asking about. Are you with me? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. There is a a. And there is the am. So we have two, two things that we are asking. One has to come here. And one has to come after am. Okay? Darapta, if I say to you. Darapta means you hit. Did you hit Muhammad or did you hit Hamid? So we are two people we are asking about. Huh? So darabta is a verb. Huh? 
can we ask the question what and whom darabta what whom okay with whom it matches whom did you hit so that will be our mafulun bihi if you if we know one person or if we are asking for one person then i would say adarabta muhammadan adarabta muhammadan did you hit muhammad are you with me yeah. huh? okay but if there is a hamid also i don't know whom you hit so what will i say now two people muhammadan and hamidan so what how will it start with a muhammadan darabta am hamidan any other way will be wrong are you with me brother uh, muhammadan darab ta am hamidan ask question to daraba ask our favorite question what do we ask the verb in order to find out whether it is transitive or intransitive what, what and whom huh? is what or whom by asking the question do we get a proper answer yes so it means it is transitive and if it is transitive then we have mafulun bihi okay in arabic transitive means mutaaddi but we will get used to it inshallah slowly slowly and and intransitive is lazim so sister manas is darab darab transitive or intransitive so then we should have a mafulun bi and mafulun bi he will always be mansur are you with me so this is one example huh ti because it is a jumla failure now we are getting a mafulun bi a min al yabani anta am min al sini are you with me what did i say a min al yabani anta am min al sini what is the translation in english we will say are you from japan or japan or but in arabic we have to separate them okay am min al yabani anta or anti am min al sini got the idea now we have a jumla failure now if jumla failure has mafulun bihi then they will two of them will be separate am muhammadan darabta am hamidan got the idea this is what we have to do here and i would like you to do it properly and write them at home huh, brothers and sisters no raita raita what is the meaning of raita you saw you saw huh? raai feel where is the file ta mashallah no brother did you see muhammad or hamid how will you separate it a uh, muhammadan raita am hamidan this will be your purest uh, arabic we are saying most eloquent we are saying uh, inshallah uh. now you took two book uh. so again brother and sister underline muhammad and underline hamid so that you know you these two were separated are uh, you understand uh. this requires in this case it requires thinking you know you have to think okay these are the two things we were asked and they have been separated huh? now there are two things we are asking you which one which book did you pick up akhaza is to take huh? akhasta or akhasti doesn't matter you took either it is ta for masculine or it is t for feminine huh? akhaz is your verb and t or ta will be your file which book did you take did you take a kitab al fiqh or kitab as sirati huh? 
book of fiqh or book of seerah which one did you take how will you ask now a kitab al fiqhi akhasti am kitab al seerati are you with me kitab al seerati got the idea brothers and sisters separated them we underlined them brothers and sisters huh? so that we understand when you are revising you will try to understand it are you with me brothers and sisters inshallah now comes our test we have the verbs and nouns in the bracket huh? so what is it the first one darab now you can make it darabti or darabta it won't make any difference huh? so if it is darabta or darabti what will happen to abbas abbasan and what will happen to mahmud mahmudan so we have to separate how will you separate abbasan darabta am mahmudan got the idea mashallah mashallah excellent now sharibta or ti doesn't matter okay but asiral burtuqali or asiral hinabi asiral burtuqal what is the meaning of that orange juice and asiral inab grape juice fine so how will you separate them and how will you form a sentence asiral burtuqali sharibta or ti am asiral hinabi hinabi mashallah you got the idea very good brother no raaitum you saw antum what did you see did you see sayara of mudira or sayara of mudarris how will you say now sayaratal mudiri raaitum am sayaratal mudarris you see separate them got the idea it's easy but writing will make you strong and if you notice darabta is transitive sharibta is transitive raitum is transitive brother karatunna now this is definitely a question asked to sisters antunna karatunna okay what did you read sisters hadhihi al majallata am tilka so how will you form a sentence ha hadhihi al majallata karatunna am tilka got the idea brother hasan it's it's easy brother requires little thinking separating them together one after hamzatul istifam the other after am inshallah okay akhasta or ti doesn't matter ha miftah al baiti am miftah sayati see all of them are coming as mafulun bi all these verbs are are you with me they are transitive very good brother <coughs> So what will you say? A miftah al baiti akhasta or ti am miftah sayarati. Did you take the house key or did you take the car key? Huh? Are you with me? But in Arabic we will separate them. A miftah has a miftah al baiti akhasta am miftah sayarati. Huh? Inshallah. So this is not difficult, but requires little thinking. You know, any other way will be incorrect. Okay, fine. Taallam, learn. Taallam, taallam il kalima til atiyata. Okay, learn this, brother. Now this is, you know, we say in the in English, one third, one fourth, fifth, eighth, tenth, tenth part. In in Arabic, how do you say? Nisfun. half thuluthun one third rub'un huh huh humsun thuduthun put a dhamma there if it is missing there thudusun sub'un thumnun tus'un ushrun now brother and sister this is on a pattern of fu'ulun but fu'ulun only 
appears in Sulusun and Sulusun. The Dhamma only appears in the Ain Kalima in this. In the rest, <coughs> the pattern is this, but instead of Dhamma, Sukun is put for the ease of pronunciation. Are you with me, brother? Instead of saying, brother and sister, instead of saying Nisufun, we say Nisfun. Huh? Instead of saying Rubuun, we say Rubuun. Huh? But the pattern is for Ulun. Now this, inshallah, you will keep it in mind. Huh? I'm sure when you will read it, it will click to you. Okay? Thulufun, Thulufun, one third. Huh? Suduthun, one sixth. Ushrun, one tenth. Huh? Fine. Brother, that's it. Now, Kavin Jumalan Mustamilan Kalimati Latiata. We have to form simple sentences. Can I leave this homework to you to do it at home? Yes. Huh? Make a simple sentence. Brothers and sisters, life is already very complicated. Don't make it too complicated by making complicated sentences. Huh? Make simple sentence. I'll give you an example. Dakhala Muhammadun Masjida. Or Dakhala Talibul Fasla. Dakhala al Mudarisu Fasla. Dakhala al Mudiru al Fasla. Mafulun bihi. Okay? And then, Bahatha, I told you, an will come. Bahathu an Kalami. I have Bahathu an. Kalami. I, I searched, uh, past tense, searched for my pen. Uh, to bath to an. Or you can bahasa Muhammadun an kalamihi al al madi last week. Lahabna al Montreal al al madi. What is the translation? We went to, uh, or you can say Zahab to, mashallah. Uh, al Barihata. Uh, means yesterday. Uh, Jaa Abi Min Makata Al Barihata. My father came from Makkah last evening. Are you with me? Make it simple, huh, inshallah. Ziyaratun Zahabuna li Ziyarati Sadikina. We went to visit our friend, and you can put Al Barihata. So here, it, you know, both things will come, inshallah. Zur, Muhammadun, Talibun, Zu Hulukin. Eh? Muhammad is a well-mannered student. Eh? And if you want to say Zatu, then you'll say Aminatu, Talibatun, Zatu Hulukin. Amina is a well-mannered student. Are you with me? Uh, inshallah.